So now we're looking at the little gluteal muscle, the gluteus minimus, and the medius attached to the crest and ran down to the trochanter. The minimus is just a smaller muscle. It also attaches in this kind of curve to the inside of the iliac crest. Deep medius is over it, and then deep to that is the minimus, and it then runs like a fan down to the uh, to the same point, but deep to the, the the medius. So you've got the medius above, attaching to the trochanter, the minimus below, about half the size, half the bulk, half the power. Its functions are the same as the medius. The, uh, it helps abduct the leg if you're standing on the opposite side. If you're standing on this side, it works together with the medius to stabilize the pelvis so that it doesn't drop as you, as you uh, put your weight on this leg. Again, primarily a posture function. The minimus is absolutely fascinating because the, for, there are two sets of triggers. The first set of triggers are vertical. They occur here and here. And if they are activated, you feel some pain in your lateral buttock, but the pain is then referred in a thin band down your lateral leg, it misses the knee and then continues down your leg almost to your ankle. And so this mimics radicular or sciatic pain. And the distribution of the pain running down the outside of your leg mimics the uh, sciatica arising from the L5 nerve. Then there are a second set of triggers and they run along, very similar to medius, they run along the top of the muscle and these refer into the buttock and down the back of the leg, ending in the mid calf. So this fascinating, fascinating, um, completely different and complex and, for a lot of people, very confusing pain reference zones because they so mimic, these mimic the S1 distribution of, of um, sciatic nerve distribution.